Your association can choose to dissolve or wind up for a number of reasons. Lack of members, loss of interest, the purpose for the association is no longer required. When an association determines to cease operating, it is recommended that you contact the NT Government Association's compliance team for help before you take any action. There are several methods to dissolving or winding up the entity. The association may determine to dissolve through a special resolution by its members. If the association is not operating, then the Commissioner of Consumer Affairs may direct that the association be dissolved. The Supreme Court also has the power to dissolve an association. The process for dissolving or winding up the association is as follows. The membership votes in favour of the special resolution to dissolve. During this resolution, the membership also confirms the decision to pay all the bills and liabilities and determines where to distribute the assets. If there are no longer any members for a special resolution to be conducted, then the remaining committee or public officer should contact the NT Government Association's compliance team for advice. To dissolve, all bills and liabilities must be paid, all of the accounts closed and a storage location for the association's records can be determined. Remember, it is illegal to transfer or give the association's assets to your members. The authorised person or public officer should then contact the NT Government Association's compliance team. The team will draft a dissolution statutory declaration for the authorised person to confirm as true and correct and for signing, ensuring that the association's correct legal name is recorded, the location where any association records will be kept and that there are no longer any assets or liabilities. Once the signed document is received, the NT Government Association's compliance team will then begin the process to dissolve the association. There is no cost to the association for this process. It is important to note that an incorporated association with any assets remaining will not be dissolved. The first stage is the initial Gazette notice, where the notice of intention to dissolve is placed. The authorised person will be informed when this occurs and will be provided a copy. Three months later, a second Gazette notice will be prepared by the NT Government Association's compliance team. This is the Notice of Dissolution, which notifies all parties that the entity is now dissolved. The authorised person will be informed once this final step has been completed and a copy provided with advice that the legal entity has been ceased. Assets are not permitted to be given to members of the association. The association may apply to transfer to another structure such as a company proprietary limited, an Aboriginal corporation or a company limited by guarantee. If the association determines to transfer to another structure, the association is not able to transfer back to being an incorporated association in the Northern Territory. To transfer to another structure, members should resolve to transfer in a meeting. The association must seek consent from the Commissioner of Consumer Affairs to transfer the association and the assets if it includes prescribed property. Any transfer ensures that the original entity continues. This means the association still holds the assets and is responsible for all liabilities. Should there be any proceedings or court action against the association, then this action continues as well. The transfer may be stopped by a member of the association or by a creditor if an application is lodged with the Supreme Court. For more information on starting an association and becoming incorporated, please keep watching or chat to the association's compliance team at associations.compliance at nt.gov.au. Visit www.nt.gov.au slash associations.